Hello, this is Haga Bean, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms Level 330. I already forgot the title of this one, but it looks interesting. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this so you can see what the heck I'm talking about. Survival Difficulty Class P. Unsecure, hazardous transformation, no humans allowed. Level 330 is the 331st level of the backrooms. Visually, it takes the form of an animated child's painting. Photo of one of the ways to level 330, found in level 57. Description. The level itself takes on a unique effect that makes the surrounding area look as if it was hand-painted, and as if 2D objects are standees within a 3D space, which also affects entities that may come across while traversing this level. However, the Wanderer will see their own body and other Wanderer's bodies as normal. Wanderers are only able to view the world around them to a certain distance, as the color fades out to a blank canvas past a certain point. Due to this, it is impossible to theorize or measure the scale of this level. The longer one stays in the, within the level, the chances of them finding a way out will increase. However, it is recommended one un unsearches for an exit at all times. While the level is relatively safe, containing only facing and wretches, wanderers are advised not to stay longer than two hours. The longer they stay, the more er they risk irreversibly transforming through a process known as the inking process. Inking process transformation phases. There are five phases, and they all match what how many hours you've stayed. Phase 1. Hours passed, one hour. Effect. Wanderers begin to leave footprints and to of paint behind them, usually the color of the underside of their shoe. Phase 2. After two hours have passed, wanderers will begin to take on the visual effect of the level, with their body being stylized as by brush strokes. Phase 3, which is three hours past, skin and clothes of water will begin to drip paint. Escape is impossible at this point, as attempting to exit a noclip will result in the water's body splattering into paint on the surface they were attempting to noclip through, killing them. Phase 4, after 4 hours have passed, skin and clothes- oh, wrong one. Water will become locked in place, unable to move along the 3D plane. The water can still move the rest of her body in the 2D plane in this phase. However, their body will begin to undergo drastic changes, rapidly morphing into a satellite version of themselves. How a wanderer looks will depend on their own artistic ability, and whether they continue to live past this point. Phase 5. 5 hours. The body of the wanderer will become permanently frozen in place. If their art style is not realistic enough for internal organs to fit, the wanderer will have died by this time. By the time this process is complete, but if the wanderer's style has realistic proportions, they maintain full sentience. Due to the final state age of the inking process, wanderers consider it a kindness to, to die in this process rather than be frozen in place until the end of time. The inking process can be reverted into the water find and exit before the third hour begins, and her body will turn back to normal after a few hours. Discovery logs. First discovery log. The following log was acquired from the first wanderer to successfully make it out of the e level and back to a mag base safely. I don't know why they're doing the time when they're just telling the story, but okay. Okay, starting this recording now. I think I found a new level. I was wandering through level 57 when I came across this weird painting that 
seem to be moving all on its own. I like the paintings in the level usually. This one seemed to have the opposite effect, like it wanted me to touch it. And when I did, I found myself in this new area. I'm going to look around as it seems relatively safe right now. The way this level looks is kind of like... Oh, what was that one? Paper Mario? It's been years since I played one of those games. Anyways, it's like the cardboard cutouts everywhere. Bushes, trees, you name it. I haven't found much else yet. Not even any entities or wanderers. Sorry, at 1.30 or 1.28. It's 1.45 now. Oh, never mind. It's Father Facelink. I can't really tell what kind it is from here, and I am definitely not about to find out. I think there was a wretch further back. Thinking about it now, I thought that was just a weird looking rock. I see a human standee. It weirdly doesn't look painted. There's a couple of them actually. I know it's a bad idea, but I need to go check. Oh god. They're wanderers! All of them are wanderers! Someone died long ago. The ones that are still alive. They... They screamed at me. Told me to run. Leave before it's too late. Before I become like them. Hints started appearing under my shoes. This level... It does things to wanderers. Bad things. Everywhere I run, I keep finding more and more people. I think I've noticed the difference in who stays alive and who dies here. It's always as stick figures and most of this figure that are dead. And those whose bodies look normal stay alive. My body is starting to look weird now. It's taking on the same texture of... of of the its level, freak. I hope I can find my way out soon. So I haven't spotted much I could I'd easily no clip through, and I've tried a lot of glitches so far. There's a lake. I'm gonna try to drive again. Please, for the love of God, don't have some weird entity in here. <sighs> After the final log entry. The wanderer found themselves in level 43, covered in blue paint, presumably from the lake they had jumped into. From there, they were able to navigate their way back to a safe level to report their findings. Meg Exploration Log Time start, April 15th, 2022, 11.20 Recording device, handheld transceiver. Entry point, level 57. Meg team leader, Officer Eric Blaine. Preface. A group of three Meg Task Force members were sent to investigate the transformation event, a fact that occurs in level 330, as reported by a, by a wanderer who escaped said level. The following text below is a transcript of their exploration. Begin log. Alright squad, we do not have long until we, we have to leave, but be on the lookout for any human-like standees and any closed by exits. We need answers and we need a way out. I already do not like this place. Looks like a five-year-old made it. And what, you can paint better than this? You can't even draw stick figures, man. Shut the heck up, you enough, you two. We do not have time to sit and argue about artistic ability. We will not find what we are looking for if you keep if you two keep messing around. It's time to focus. Ugh, fine. Yes, sir.
time, 1150. Sounds of the squad walking are able to be heard. Sir, I found one. Do they look alive? Seems to be. Good. Berta, sir, urge for an exit point. Really? Me? That is an order, Berta. <sighs> Fine. For fuck's sake. Osmond, start setting everything up. How long have we been in here so, so far? About half an hour, sir. We have plenty of time before we have to go. Good. Keep an eye on that. Sound footsteps and, and equipment being set up can be heard. Note, the following Sandy responses are only a rough translation. The Sandy's ability to communicate seems to be hindered in this state. Leave! Run! Leave! No, we're here to talk to you. We want to know what caused this. Please? We, we want to try and help if we can. Can't. Splattered if we try. Lost friends. Oh, do you know how long it took them to get to that point? I think three hours. Paint drips from their body. This is not like paintless. How are you understanding what they're saying? Odd hobby of mine. I learned how to get good at ventriloquism when I was younger. It's amazing what boredom and strict parents with paranoia over technology can do to a kid. What the heck? I'll show you sometime if we get out of here. Now then. How do you guys stay alive? Lost feelings. Hunger. Thirst. No more. How do only some of you survive? Only some survive. Good artists only survive. Sticks die. Incorrect die. Must have it all. Well, I guess Verda wouldn't live. <laughs> hey, do you know what's causing this to happen? This level, it lives, does not like people, hear its voice, screams, constantly angry. That's horrifying. How long did it take to make you like this? I think fifth hour, it was done. Fourth hour, so much pain, 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 so much pain. Stanley begins to scream. Leave! That's not the same voice. Paintless, talentless, leave my world. No humans allowed! Why do you... hate humans? Trample! Mess! Tear! Mean! Humans are mean! Birds are through walkie-talkie. Blaine, sir, found a possible exit. A building of sorts. The door seems to lead back to... I think it's level 1, northeast of where you guys are currently. Good, we'll be with you momentarily. The hell's with all that screaming? Something go wrong over there? No, I believe we have all the information we need. We will explain once we get back to base. Ozzy, we're leaving. But sir, we could learn so much right now. This being is clearly agitated by our presence. We need to leave. I'm getting pains under my shoe. All right, then, give me a few minutes to pack up. Go! Leave! My world! 
Not yours! The new voice continues to shout, explaining an Osman, and until they leave to locate Verda, at which point the recording ends. End log. That hurt my voice. That really hurt my throat. Bases, outposts, and communities. Due to the nature of this level, no bases that or outposts haven't made it on this level. <laughs> Alright. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The only way to enter the level is through a painting with a moving image on the canvas. Wow, I said that wrong. <laughs> Usually depicting a house on green grass with a blue sky and yellow sun. These paintings can usually be found on any levels that have an art gallery or museum involved, such as level 57, level 321. The reports of the painting appearing in level 5. This has yet to be confirmed. Exits. Jumping into a lake can lead you to one of the following, level 7, level 43, level 130, or level 173. You enter the new level all covered in blue paint if you choose this method. Entering any door connected to a building can lead you to one of the following. Level 1, Level 4, Level 9, Level 11. Doors not connected to a building will lead you to a random level, including negative levels. Anyway... Unless I'm mistaken here, wait... SCP-000 taught me to not uh, uh, trust just blank areas of... What's this? I knew it. What's wrong? Did more humans find your artwork? They did! I don't want them to! Well, you know them. They're far too curious for their own good. I hate humans. They jump into my things and ruin them. I understand your frustration, sweetie, but that's just the nature of the painting. Things we create, we must learn to accept that people will find them. But I don't want them to. I want them to leave my world alone. I know, you just want people to see what you can do, right? How about this? It's almost lunchtime. Everyone is out there waiting for you. I made a fresh batch of cookies. Your favorite almond chocolate. Up chip flavor too. You should come take a break with the rest of us for the time being. Maybe it will help help relax you from what happened. Fine, but I don't want to come back after I was in the middle of painting a flower. There's a good girl. Oh, <laughs> I really did that. The little girl re paint, returned to her painting room hours later. She pouted at her painting, and. One that was once again tainted by humans, and sat down in front of it once more. What could she do? There was no way she could simply paint a message for him to leave. It would ruin her art. Her thoughts cut off as the bucket next to Kendra is, is strangled. She peeked inside, seeing a new popstick puppet. Another human who succumbed to her painting's will appeared within the small collection that had formed within. With that, she had an idea. Taking to some crap. And in paper, she created a small card. She knew the rules of the canvas. Anything placed upon them will display in all the clones, no matter the material. She docked the card into the bottom right corner and smiled with joy, thinking that finally the humans would leave her work alone. She couldn't wait to show the caretaker her solution. To the humans, please stop going in here. This is my painting, not yours. Lizzie. Something's in the paint. Oh. It's an art-induced author. Okay. That was a neat, a, a little a way to um, get to look at the authors. Anyway, this was backrooms level three thirty.
And I don't remember the actual the actual name of this level, but it's clearly a painting. A painting that wants you out of it, and if you don't leave, you will become a painting yourself. And if you like this video, oh, and I guess hearing me actually try and use an angrier voice for once, I don't really do that often. And if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!